Hey guys, it's Jenny from It's Your Birth. My blessed nest on Instagram requested that I make a video about the postpartum care in America, or really the lack thereof, and how the home birth midwives are stepping in and filling that void, although they have always done postpartum care. So most of you who follow me are moms or who and you've had babies and so you're familiar with the fact that when you have a hospital birth you're discharged after 24 hours for a vaginal birth and if you've had a cesarean delivery you are discharged usually around 48 hours postpartum after that where's your care there really is no care for the postpartum period for moms who are recovering from birth if you've given birth vaginally, you follow up with, with your provider uh, around six weeks postpartum. If you've had a cesarean delivery, you usually follow up with your provider within one to two weeks postpartum to check the healing of your incision, and then you follow up for your six week postpartum visit. So many things happen in those six weeks of recovery, and unfortunately, moms and families, moms and dads, are left on their own to figure this out. Now, usually after your discharge, you will see your baby's uh, physician, your pediatrician, somewhere within the first week, usually the first couple of days after discharge, but other than that, um, families don't have anyone to call for the simple questions or even for their providers to be checking on them to make sure that everything is within a range of normal. Now in the midwifery model, which is the world that I live in, I'm a home birth midwife, I provide six postpartum appointments for my clients and their six weeks postpartum. So I see them on days one, three, seven, and 14 and those are all in home, and then four weeks and six weeks are back at my office. At the 24-hour visit, I offer the Michigan newborn screening for babies, which is a state mandate, and that screens for over 50 different disorders in babies. And I also offer a pulse ox reading, which is screening for congenital heart defects. So what are we doing in these visits as home birth midwives? Well, we're checking in on the well-being of moms and babies, and we're screening them to make sure that everything in their recovery period is within a range of normal. We're checking vitals, we're checking on breastfeeding, we're checking to make sure that the baby is gaining weight uh, and that the baby is nursing well and all the output levels are normal. And we're also checking in on mom's emotional state to make sure that she is transitioning well and that if anything does reflect as abnormal or out of range or if mom is having a hard time coping or maybe she's starting to slip into postpartum depression, we can refer out appropriately to the next level of care so that moms and dads aren't just home not knowing what to do. So if you've had a hospital birth, you may not have access to that type of care. So my advice would be seek out the other providers in your community. Look for home birth midwives in your state and see if any of them are offering the service of postpartum care if you've had a hospital birth. If you are one of the fortunate moms who have had great postpartum care, let me know how that was for you down in the comments. If you were a mom who experienced the medical model and then maybe a home birth postpartum experience after that, let me know the contrast on if that made a difference for you in your recovery or in your breastfeeding success. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to this YouTube page and, and also follow me on Instagram, hashtag it's your birth and at it's your birth on Facebook.